Hello everyone, this is Santosh and welcome to Tech Design. In this tutorial, I am going to show you how we can make this sheet metal practice model. So this is going to be our 14th model. So all 13 model are already uploaded in our channel. Go to my channel or I will leave the link in the description for the playlist. You can just check it out. So we also have a drawing for this. So this is the drawing you can see here. So this drawing we are going to use it in order to make this modeling. So let's get started. So I'll just go to new file and I'll just create a sheet metal part. So now I'll just select sheet metal and I'll just click. Okay. So this will take you to a sheet metal workbench. Okay. So the first step is we need to create a tab. So without tab, we cannot do any other operations here. So first I will just go to sketcher environment on any one of the plane and we'll just create a simple sketch. So I'll just go here. And now you can see here, uh, this is the dimension you can see 250, uh, which is I'm just going to take this as a base uh, and then we have a 250 along this direction. So I'm going to draw that. So I'll just go to rectangle and from here it is going to be, this is going to be 250. Okay. And I'll just click S and now this is also 250. Okay. So and then we have a cutout here. So this cutout I'm going to create. So you can see the dimension 47.5 and we have a horizontal dimension 21 which is missing in the drawing. You can just assume it. So now I'll just draw a line here. So this is my line and this is my one more line. Okay. I'll just trim this extra line and from here to this it is going to be 47.5 mm. Okay and from here to here it is going to be 21 okay so now this is the one uh, now what i'm going to do is i'll just finish this sketch and now we need to create a tab so now you can see in the drawing uh, the bend radius and the thickness is going to be 3 mm so we need to assume wherever the dimension is not given we can assume it as a 3 mm so i'll just close this and let me go to tab so once i go to tab i need to select the curves so I'll just hit single curve and stop at intersection because I need to select this section here. Okay. So I'll just go on selecting. Okay. So once you select the closed profile, you can able to see your tab. So 3 mm is the thickness. I'll just click. Okay. So I'm going to create a flange here. So let me go to flange and uh, I'm going to select this flange okay so this flange uh, you can see the dimensions here which is uh, 30 mm length and 135 degree angle okay so either we can give 135 or we can give 45 degree so what i'm going to do is i'll just hit 30 length and as well as this is going to be 45 mm okay so if you give 135 it is going to come on the downside so i'm just giving a 45 angle okay so rest the other features other bend radius and everything you can just keep it as it is and it should be inside so length reference should be inside and the inside should be bent outside okay this you just need to keep and you can just click okay so once this is done i'm going to do the next flange which is along this direction i'll just go to flange and i just select this edge so once you select, you can see 45 degree and 30 is the distance. It is automatically coming. So now this distance is going to be 60 mm. Okay. You can see here, this is the 60 mm length and I'm going to give 60 mm as a length. Okay. So now let me finish this two more flanges that I'm not take care. So what I'm going to do is I'll just go to flange again and I'm going to select this. And this time you can see on the other side, it is bent towards this direction where this bend is there and it is of uh, 90 degree okay 90 degree and whatever the length is there you can see here this is 60 so now i'll just give 90 degree as an angle okay so now you can see it is coming in the top direction so this is what we need and the length is going to be 60 okay and then you can see here the radius of 20 is given on the two sides so this is the one and this is the one so on both sides we have 20 as the radius so we'll just go to bend radius here and use a local value 
and here I'm going to enter it as 20 okay so now you can see here inset is bend outside so we don't want bend outside because it is going to be the length is going to be more than 250 you can see here this is the one so I just need to give it as bend inside so now you can see the overall length is going to become 250 I'll just click OK so once this is done again we have one more tab here with a 100 mm length so that I'm going to give I'll just go to flange and select this edge so now again uh, the bend radius is by default it is 20 because in the last operation we have used it at a 20 and it should be material inside and uh, the length is going to be 100 mm okay so just click okay sorry this angle is 90 and our length is going to be 100 okay so once this is done you can just click okay so now uh, once you go to here and uh, you can see the radius of 20 on all sides so here as well everywhere the break is there so we are going to break the corner and here the radius is going to be 20 mm okay i'm going to select this face and i'll just click apply i'm going to select this face you can see both side it is trimmed and i'm going to select this face okay so once everything is uh, selected you can see all the sides we have our edge corner okay so now i need to go to sketcher environment so you can see here these are the profiles this profile i'm going to create it so that is going to be a lower so i'll just go to sketcher environment on this plane okay i'll just click okay now i'll just draw a line here so this is my line and this line i'm going to make a pattern so now you can see here the length of this line is 40 mm and uh, whatever the distance you can see here 28 mm is the pitch okay and three consequences we need so three patterns we need along this direction and this direction as well and this side it is 20 mm is the distance okay so whatever the distance we have here is 20 mm so let's draw that so between this to this edge it is going to be 20 mm okay so this dimension is over here you can see this is the 20 mm and from this edge it is 30 so let me go to here from this point so from this point to this it is going to be 30 mm okay once this is given we need to give the dimension for this line so this is going to be 40 mm okay so this dimension is given over here you can see this is the dimension so once this is done uh, i'm going to make a pattern for this so how we can do we'll just go to pattern and i'm going to select this and it should be uh, linear so we need to make it on both sides so i'll just give this side okay so now i'm going to give count and pitch so pitch is the distance between the two uh, lines so that is going to be you can see here 28 mm okay i'll just this give as a 28 mm and pitch is going to be 3 okay so now you can see here since we give 28 mm uh, it is overlapping so we just need to add 40 mm whatever the length is there so we need to add it so i'm going to give it as a 68 okay the three lines are here and you can just click ok or else you can just use the second direction so second direction is going to be this side and now the count and pitch so pitch is 20 mm you can see the distance between the two you know lines is 20 mm and uh, now we need a three counts okay so here three counts and 20 mm okay so now we got this lines you can just click okay so once this is done uh, you can see our sketch is fully defined i'll just finish the sketch once we finish the sketch uh, we need to provide a lower so for that i'll just go to lower here and now i need to select a single line so this line i'm going to select and now you can see here uh, this is in a different shapes lines so i'm going to make it as a formed and it should be in the opposite direction if you see here so it should be in the opposite direction so let me go here and take it as a opposite direction okay 
so now the depth is 5 mm and the width is 10 mm so this information you can able to see here this is 10 mm and the depth is going to be 5 mm it is given over here so i'll just keep it as it is and i'll just click ok so now we need the same lower on all the lines so what i'll do is i'll just select this and select this line reverse the direction and click ok so this i'm going to do it for all the things so only thing is here we cannot able to select all the lines at a time so you just need to do for everything again so if the dimension is same so always whenever uh, the nx is going to take the same dimension as the previous values so you can just simply click ok so So now again this one I am going to select and I will just click ok. So this is the lower we got ok. So now what we have is uh, we have these circles. So these circles I am going to create it. So let me go to sketcher on this plane. Ok. So here I am going to create a one circle. So this is the circle and the radius is you can see here diameter is given as 20 diameter so this is going to be 20 and if you see the distance here is 40 okay and whatever the distance from here to here it is 75 and here also it is 75 so now again i will just go to pattern so before going to pattern i need to give the dimension from this edge so let us see it is 40 and then it is 25 so from here to this it is 25 okay and whatever the distance from this edge to this it is going to be 40 okay so now i'll just go to pattern and select this curve and along this direction we need two quantities with a pitch of 75 okay and along this direction we need three quantities and with a pitch of 75 okay just click okay so now we got all the folds six holes and now what we'll do is we are going to finish this sketch okay and uh, now i am just going to do normal cutout okay i am going to select this sketch and i'll just click okay okay so now the next step is we have this feature here you can see this feature so this can be done by drawn cutout option so what i'm going to do is i need a sketch here so i'll just go to sketcher in moment on this plane okay and i'll just draw a rectangle here okay so this is the rectangle and now I am going to give the dimensions from this to this ok it is going to be 25 mm and you can see this is the 30 mm 160 is the width and 35 is the distance from here so I am going to give all of them so this is going to be 25 and uh, this is going to be 30 and from here to here it is going to be 35 and whatever the width of this is going to be 160 okay so i'll just finish the sketch so now what we're going to do is we'll just go to drawn cutout okay so this is the drawn cutout and uh, the depth is given as 10 mm you can see here so this is the depth you can see so this i'm just going to leave it as it is and now you can see here this is the tool clearance 5 mm you can just keep it as it is you can see the radius here ok so now i'll just click ok so once this is done we have a last feature that is this cutout ok i'm going to go to sketcher environment again on this particular flange and here i'm going to draw a rectangle so this is my rectangle and now the dimension for this is going to be from here to here it is 20 okay and this is going to be 30 
and then the distance between this point to this point is going to be 20 and this overall length is going to be 150 so now I'll just uh, give a fillet here the fillet is missing in the drawing we can consider it as a radius 8 so I'll just go to fillet and hit 8 as a value and I'm just going to start selecting the corners so this is the simple way you can just create a corners instead of entering the radius again and again okay so now I'll just finish the sketch so here I'm going to do the normal cutout again and I'll just click OK. So this is how we can uh, make this model guys. So this is going to be our sheet metal exercise 14. So if you have any doubts, please comment in the section below. I'll try to answer. Thank you guys.